Thank you, Professor Peter Steiring, for giving me the opportunity to speak before the August gathering on overview of status and opportunities for low carbon technologies in India. When in the morning I was going through the literature, I found a very good quote uh, thought to share with the August gathering. There are a few things certain in life. One is death, the second is change, transformation, and the third is waste. How waste is important, this quote is depicting. Uh, about the uh, demography of India, the population is one. 0.43 billion in 2023 and it is projected to be 1.66 billion by 2050. The density of uh, the population is very high, 473 people per kilometer. The GDP per capita is low, 2,601 US dollar. The country's GDP will grow around 7% per annum. Uh, and more than 35% of population is already urbanized. The industrial growth is currently more than 5.6% per annum. About the waste generation, um, the generation of waste is more than 62 megaton solid waste per annum. This is the report of MOEF 2023. And uh, uh, the experts from MOEF is here. He may correct uh, if the figure is uh, wrong and the average annual growth of solid waste is 4% per annum and uh, about 4 to 7 megaton of hazardous waste is generated. It is alarming. More than 10,000 hectares of urban lands are dumped for municipal solid waste only. So the world third largest CO2 emitter is India with 3.9 gigaton of carbon dioxide equivalent in 2023 and 1.8 gigaton of carbon dioxide emitted by burning of coal. This is the report of 2021. CO2 emissions are growing at the rate of 6% per annum in the short term. It will be more in the long term. The Niti Aayog uh, is charged with meeting United Nations Sustainable Development Goals through Green Revolution 2. Niti Aayog people will join shortly. Now coming to infrastructural requirement, 250 to 300 million new city dwelling inhabitants will require housing and other infrastructure by 2032. It will be equivalent to 11 New Delhi metropolitan city of India. Presently, the cement consumption is 350 megaton per annum. It will rise to more than 450 megaton per annum by 2027. 5.5 gigaton of aggregate is used in India. It is approximately 10% of the world production. It is estimated that uh, about 95% of the construction material will be needed for the urban city only. I already mentioned that India is the third biggest uh, emitter of carbon dioxide. However, this is the report of BBC. It is indicating the fourth biggest emitter of carbon dioxide. Here uh, in this figure, I wanted to show is that the per capita emission of India is of course very low, 1.9 compared to other developed countries. Now about India's growth, India is the fastest growing economy in the world and will be in the top three world economies over the next one to two decades. India is urbanizing, modernizing and needs a huge uh, supply of construction material to meet our domestic demand and the policy development uh, uh, such as waste to wealth and the tool to support our waste management policies is needed. The poor and inconsistent implementation of the existing policy is prevailing. Further, the inadequate infrastructure and waste dumping site, the cumulative land requirement for disposal of municipal solid waste only require more than 1,400 square kilometer as India's industry is growing. Effective solid waste management is earnestly needed. It is very difficult to get the accurate figure of waste generation. Uh, anyway, approximately 62 
megaton solid waste per annum is generated this is the report of 2023 four to more than seven megaton of hazardous waste is generated by 44 thousand industrial plants it is alarming and uh, it was estimated that approximately 46 percent is the landfill 9 percent is incinerated and 45 percent is recycled but there is a big gap in data that is publicly available to act upon about the india's major waste generation uh, in cumulative value the industrial solid waste is uh, generated about more than 560 megaton it includes mine tailing 80 megaton uh, construction material 40.5 megaton limestone fine 6 megaton fly ash for, uh, from power plant is 184 megaton red mud from bauxite production is around 5.5 megaton and 230 megaton iron and steel waste are generated in which 20 percent are reused uh, blast furnace slag from a steel plant is around 24 megaton and the steel slag is around 12 megaton the agricultural and horticultural waste is around 700 megaton and the forestry waste is 280 megaton now about the waste management scenario the waste management in india is potentially around uh, 15 billion dollar industry uh, the businessman can invest in this and approximately 25 percent of the total waste produced uh, can be recycled and uh, currently recyclable waste is largely dumped landfill in the absence of proper collection and infrastructural facilities this slide shows india's net zero emission target as we know our honorable prime minister has given five point uh, plan also called panchamrit uh, india will bring to non-fossil energy capacity to 500 gigawatt by 2030 and uh, 50% of the energy requirement will be met through renewable energy. By 2030, India will cut down its uh, net projected carbon emission by 1 billion tons from now until 2030. India will bring down the carbon intensity of its economy by more than 45% by 2030. And India will achieve the target of net zero emission by 2070 now coming to technology why low carbon technology is important it is important because it focuses on value addition to industrial solid waste using point source and anthropogenic gaseous co2 emitted to valorize the waste it combines solid waste and the gaseous waste it also includes to develop our circular economy it is an alternative management options for hazardous and non-hazardous waste and there is provision of alternative material to protect natural resources now what about the opportunities of this technology it evaluates utilization valorization potential of indian solid waste it quantify reduction of risk there is a market uh, and need of cost survey to meet the people's demand it give a sequestered carbon value as an incentive it closely involve industry the stakeholders and it also defines procurement route for products from waste and fund process development example new ways technology higher yields lower cost about this workshop this workshop is very important and uh, it is uh, the conglomeration of academia the industrial stakeholders and 
the regulatory bodies and the ministries to sit together to derive a consensus for the management of hazardous waste the industrial solid waste to protect our environment and to develop our economies and the opportunities of the value added products derived from the industrial solid waste thank you very much professor and the august gathering Sorry, are we having questions now? Okay. Do we have any questions from the audience? In that case, in view of time, uh, we'll, we'll move on to the next speaker. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Raj.